What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm here with my buddy George. What's up man? At Kuruma Imports. And we just came over to look at some of the inventory for some of these beautiful cars you guys see here. We got a Skyline here, GTR 32. And as the eyes can see, we got a few little cars. So I just kind of want to go around and show you guys a little bit um, of the cars and the inventory. I've been here before. My buddy Adrian bought the R32 from here, the ones that we, you guys have seen a lot in the videos. And I've come over here to look for the next project car. So we'll see if maybe it's gonna be either a Skyline or what we talked about is an S2000. So I kinda of wanna show you guys a little bit and then we'll get in with George to uh, talk about the inventory a little bit. Let's go. Fight. 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 All right, so I'm here with George. What's going on, George? Uh, bro, thanks for inviting me to the, to, to the dealer and coming by to hang out. So I kind of want to go over some cars. I really want to go over this one because this is the first thing that kind of catches my eyes. What year is this one? This is a 91. This is a 91 GTR. Yeah, GTR. <clears throat> R32 GTR with some very rare wet spores on them. But <clears throat> this car has what, like over 500 is what you told me? They're around 500. It's around 500? The uh, HKS. 2530 turbos. Um, Twins. Yeah, let's, let's open it. Yeah, let's open it and check it out. This looks amazing. <clears throat> we're gonna to get into we're gonna get into almost every car. We also have a 33 here. Let me get the key. You're gonna get the key. All right, no problem. We also have an RB26 here swapped. And I'll just leave you guys in the comments so you guys can tell me the name of this car. I'll leave you that for homework. Tell me the name of this car and see if you know much about that JDM stuff. We also have another R32 here in white. We also have Georgia's uh, personal car over there, which is that S13. We also have another blue one here, but we kind of want to go around. I kind of want to go around and show you guys the inventory because there's some really nice cars here. It's like I mentioned, I, this might be the next place where I get my next project car. Like I said, if it's not, if it's not an S2000, it's definitely going to be something from here. Who knows? Maybe a Skyline. You know, who knows? Maybe that little Pathfinder there. I doubt it. I'll get into that. But um, you got the key? All right, let's do it. The screwdriver key. All right, let's do it. So we got George here. We'll let him open it so we can see it. Whew, it's super clean, man. So this came just like this from Japan, yeah. right? Yeah, everything. We just regular maintenance, air filters, and that's it. <laughs> HKS air filters. So this is it has twins HKS. Yeah. Making close to five or five. Five, yeah. Around there. It's got two settings, the uh, high and, and low. The high is, is it, crazy. It's crazy, huh? Yeah, it and, spins. And it's got AC. Yeah, AC. And it's got AC, that's crazy. It's got it, it makes it look like a, like a race car, but. But it's still got AC. Yeah, that's the best part. So what is this, because I want to show it to the viewers, some of the people that are looking for this. What does this GTR go for? Um, this one's around 29. Around 29? Yeah. With everything you see on it here. Yeah. Perfect. We don't take anything. With the wet spores. What kind of tires on them? These are Neo. These are Advent tires. You can Advent tires. Crazy. And it's got the Brembles. And excuse my questions. The GTRs come with Brembles from factory? No. No, no they Those came with. These are R33. These are R33, right? Yeah. Nice. Let me look at the interior. This one, is it open from this side? Uh, yeah. Oh, and it's got the gauges in the dash. Yeah. So this one's got a sparkle seat with a quick release or just a, no, that's not a quick release, it's a hub. Standard. And it's got your gauges here, boost, temperature. Nice. And this one you said is going for around 29, right? Yeah. It's got the roll cage and everything, huh? Yeah, no interior. So made to look like a race car. Well, that's probably what it was in Japan, a race car. A daily, it had to be. Really? Does you think so? Well, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> And it's not like in Japan, it's super hot. It is, you know, it's, yeah. it gets cold over there. And it has a carbon fire wind. I hadn't even noticed before I came. 
You know what brand this wing is? No. No? Well, a lot of these cars come from Japan and, and we see brands that we haven't even heard of. Yeah, yeah. Small shops and stuff like that that we haven't even heard of. It's got a full exhaust. So let's see if we can see another one. Um, and that blue one there, that's another R32. Yeah. And that's going for how much? That one we still, we're, we have to tune it, I think, and fix some little things on there. But I think it's going to be around like 24. 24 sure. around there? Yeah, obviously the other one goes for a little bit more because of the mods and stuff like that. The GTR. That's the G a GTS. Oh, this is a GTS, but yeah. with a swap? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is, a, this is a GTST. Yeah. It's rear wheel drive, so just RB26 swap. RB26 swap. That's crazy, man. So obviously you, what you do maintenance on these cars, so the minute that a customer buys it, they come out yeah. perfect. They come yeah, out perfect. They, they ask for something specific, we can do that as well. You can do that as well. That one also has a roll cage? Yeah. See if we can that see this one. also race car. Another, oh, and it's gutted too? Yeah. Oh, I hadn't even seen it. Okay, so it's got your gauges and a roll cage. What is this? Cup holder. That's a cup holder? Oh, that's crazy. Little JDM cup holder, oh wow. Yeah. So you could be drifting and have your coke there at the same time. Exactly. And these seats are recoil seats. Yeah. What's well, got the passenger recoil seats? Nice, man. Watch out. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let's cut your hand there. And this is the original color that comes in this car? No, no, that's Bayside Blue. Bayside Blue. Oh, okay. And what yeah, exhaust is that? It's a very odd exhaust. It kind of looks like, uh, I don't know if, you, if you're into the Honda as much, but have you ever seen the spoon exhaust? Okay, yeah. They kind of look like that. I mean, not this wide and a little bit different, but it's, it's definitely, it's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, I don't remember if I looked up the brand, but it's the weirdest exhaust I've ever heard. Right. It probably sounds nice too. Yeah. And then we have, we have a Sylvia over there. Yeah. And we have was, a, go ahead. A non-turbo auto. Oh, that's a non-turbo auto? Yeah. Okay, so you have a different variety for different budgets, I guess. Yeah. And for different things for what people are looking for. You'd be surprised how many people call it for automatic. Really? Yeah. I had someone call today about a Skyline automatic and I don't have any. And you don't it's have like, any? like, yeah, I only want auto, so. That's crazy. I yeah. wonder what they would, you know, probably a dragster. Or Torque people that are injured, maybe. That could know. be true. I remember back in the days, I, I, I used to go to the shop. They were building an SR and the gentleman, I was like, man, that's an automatic SR. He's like, yeah, the guy, it's, you know, he's, he doesn't walk. He's in a wheelchair. Yeah. So he wants an automatic and I'm exactly. like, oh, that's crazy. So what does that Sylvia go for? For anybody no. that's kind of on a low budget, looking yeah. for a ride and drive? It's 10, 10. That's 10? Yeah. Okay. They see everything, it's, it's non-turbo. Non-turbo. And what we've been noticing throughout the years is that these cars are going up in price. Yeah. Because the Skylines before, you could pick them up fairly reasonable. Now they're still reasonable, you're still buying a Skyline, but they've gone up a couple of thousands, you know? Yeah. It's, you know, just like classic cars, they go up instead of like a new car where it goes down yeah. when you drive it away. Have you seen the Honda Type R so much they're going for, the Integras? 50,000 miles, 30,000 miles, oh, going for like 80 that, grand. Bring a trailer. And bring a trailer. Yeah. And then we have a 33 here. We have WRX and a Supra. This is automatic? No, this no. is not automatic. This is stick. Yeah, stick. Turbo, right? RB25? Yeah. Do they, did they come non-turbo? Yeah. Yeah, they did. They're, they come in non-turbo RB, and then there's like a carbureted four-cylinder, I think. Really? Yeah, it is. On this year? Like a 93? I don't, I think it might have been this year too, but I know R32 for sure had that non, like it was like a carbureted four cylinder. Jeez, that's like a super, that's like a, the hybrid from back in the days. Yeah, it was just like a base, super base model. And even the interior on the R32 was gray. It wasn't the black. It wasn't the black. Yeah, that was super base. For wow. sure. And you have a WRX here. What years is WRX? Uh, 92, 94. 94. I'm sure with the inventory you have, it's a little bit hard to keep up today yeah, to, too many. to, to like everything. <laughs> this one open, let me see. Yeah. Man, this is so clean. Turbo, right? Of course. Yeah, turbo. WRX. No, they never came non-turbo. Well, the, the regular, non-WRX. Well, the non-WRX, the non, uh, what is it? Uh, Impressa. The Impressa. This one's got its in-dash. You know, it's crazy. All these cars have that distinctive, like Japanese smell, and they the come, the cigarette smells, and they come with the, uh, well, they don't really stink like cigarettes, but I guess throughout the years, they just get that little, yeah. that little, uh, I remember Adrian bought his and it had a little bit, but I mean, it, it, it went away with a few air fresheners that goes away. It's, it's, it's the cigarettes. The yeah. cigarettes are totally different over there. And they got air, uh, what is it? Air purifiers inside or something? Yeah, like? that one has it. This one has it? Oh, let's go get it. Cause I know Adrian's had it. I think Adrian wanted to keep it too. Yeah, this thing. Oh, that. Oh, that's crazy. So that's the air purifier. I thought that was the, I thought that was like a speaker. 
The little green one? That's the one. Oh, look, and it even has like a little fan on it. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. And I bet you it works. I bet yeah, you, I bet you, works. I bet you it does its job. Still makes it smell like cigarettes. Man. Yeah, you're never going to get rid of that. So, and then you have a super here. What is this yeah. going for? This one's uh, 42. 42. And, and these cars are just keep going up in prices. The supers, yeah, man. And, and this is original six speed. Original six speed. Yeah, twin turbo. And what year is it? The 93. Guys, if you want to get in touch with Kuruma Imports, this is the phone number. They're located here in Miami, Florida. This one open too? I think so. No, that's not. That's fine. You don't have to. But this one's got some work on it, huh? It's crazy how that, that dash on the Super, when you sit on it, is just facing you and no one else. Yeah. It's like the passenger somewhere else. Exactly. Even the AC, everything. It's, it's completely facing you. It's yeah. like, I don't want nothing to do with the passenger. That's crazy. What it has, does this thing have any mods on it? I see it has a blow valve aftermarket. It's all bolt-ons, exhaust intake, blow valve, basic bolt-ons. Basic bolt-ons, huh? And then you have, this was the automatic one, and this was your, your personal one, right? Yeah. This is, not, this is not for sale for sure. No. <laughs> so you did something different to this car. Um, this is a non-turbo. It's a non-turbo Altec uh, SR20 from an S15. From but an S15. Everything is S15. S15, huh? So this engine came on the S15. Well, there, I did know that S15s that you know some of them did come non-turbo. Yeah, but you know? this is the Alltech edition. So um, it came with a higher compression. It has the same, almost the same output in horsepower as the turbo. As the turbo. 200 horsepower. Oh, okay. And I bet you the VTEC pops really loud too. Yeah. Yeah, it has yeah VTC. VTC. Yeah. yeah, man. And you did the dash yeah. and everything on it. Everything is S15. That's crazy. You swapped everything out? Everything. Steering column, everything that you Steering column and everything? Everything. Crazy. Steering wheel, your shield factory, uh, shift knob, the seats and everything, center console. The carpet. You're kind of almost sitting in a new car. That's what, yeah. that's what that makes you. I wanted the old body, but the new interior. But the new interior. It's going turbo with this car, any uh, of your plans later on? Or you like that engine a lot? You can't, you can't, they, it's too high compression. The only thing I heard maybe you can do maybe like supercharge, but what I want to do is individual throttles. Uh, That's when you wake it up. That's going to be real nice. I, I bet that this engine on a 280Z or a 240Z would, would fly. Yeah. Or a Haku. Or a Haku, yeah. yeah. Uh, my buddy Andy, you know Andy with the RX-7, he has a, yeah. a, a Datsun that he's selling. That he's selling now, but this is nice, man. So this is your... Yeah, I built everything. I did the entire thing. Original color or you painted no, it? No, I repainted the whole car. I took off every panel to repaint it. Do you know what's the color code for this? For this? Do you remember? This one? No, it was a custom color of an R33 that I had. It's, if you look, that's the base I blue. I thought it was base I blue, but it's not. If you look it's at a little blue, darker. Yeah, and it's a, it's a candy paint. So oh. it's a lot of layers of, of paint. And you take this car out a lot. Well, I mean, you enjoy them. Oh, you don't? I, I drive it maybe once a month. Oh, okay. Just because I don't want to damage it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What year is it? It's a uh, 91. Oh, 92. 92. 92. It's crazy how the S15 kind of... Yeah, and the, the, the clip that it came off is the 2002. It's a 2002. Okay, yeah. okay. So then we still have more. This is a, G, a R32. Yeah. You kind of yeah. look you kind of look at it from the side and you're like, does it have a white body? And that's just kind of how, how it was made. This is fairly stock, right? This one? Yeah. And then this is a another one. This is the color that I think everyone likes. Yeah. I think this is the color that everyone kind of wants to get. Oh yeah, everyone, everyone. There's so many grays. So this is a GTST, though, right? No, this is GTR. This is the uh, yeah. GTR. Uh, GTR. Yeah, because I've seen there's a few YouTubers who have them, and they all have this color. I think Dustin William has this color. Uh, Eliminate has this color. They all have them. Um, you also have. This is a GTST four door. Yeah. But GTS4. It's got, yeah. GTS4. But it's got an RB on it. Yeah, it's a GTR swap. <clears throat> it's a GTR swap. Holy crap. It's crazy. Like, I bet when you're looking through this, that you're looking to bring him in and you see, you're like, holy crap, this is something I need to get. Yeah, I like weird stuff. Oh, it's definitely rare. Imagine you pull up to somebody and you're like, ah, oh, it's just a Ford or Skyline RB20. Right? And then all of a sudden, you get walked on by like 50 cars. Yep. Wow. And they polish that loft cover, huh? Yep. Jesus, Gretty, and it has a huge turbo. What turbo is that one? 
There's nothing, I couldn't, I don't know which one it is. The little thing oh. ripped off and there's like no... Oh, there's nothing on it. There's nothing on it. Spool's like nice though. Right? Which one do you think is faster, the red one or this one? The red one has, the red a, one. has a little bit more work, right? Yeah. No, the red one for sure. And this one still has a super high cuss? Yeah. Or hickus, however you call it. Yeah. I don't know how is it that people mention it, but it's crazy. It's got the gritty piping there. What is this four-door? Okay, so if this was a regular RB20 GTST, you're looking at about what, 15, 16? Yeah, 15, 16. A four-door is like 14, 15, 15 gotcha. in there, if it's and, stock. And if this has this engine, where, where do we? This one, I, I have to do, I think it's like 26. Okay. Well, you are getting the engine, and it's, low, and it's a low-mile engine, too. Yeah. It's you're getting the engine, you're getting the coupe rear end they did a coupe swap if you go in the back okay so it has the oh the two door rear end swap. gotcha gotcha what do they do for that what is it headlights trunk, i mean tra tail lights tail light trunk bumper so you don't have to do any extra modifications on it right no all right and the paint job is good on it yeah. The paint job is really good on it. You think this probably got a respray? Uh, yeah, yeah. Not recently from Japan? I mean, not, not long ago? And yeah, it has yeah, a it. full exhaust too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> With the big turbo, it has and the big, big gauges in there and AC also. And it also has AC. That's, that's what's crazy about this. You can pick up here, you can come to Kuruma and pick up a Skyline making 500 horsepower and you got AC. Yeah. That's nuts. I love how they keep the old Momo steering wheels, the Fast and the Furious Nitrous ones. Yeah. That's nuts, man. That's nice. Yeah, I think that was the one that has three horns. The middle one works, and then they wire the two buttons. And the other wire the two other ones. And it's got such an old school blitz cage, huh? Yeah. Holy. The biggest one probably you can get. Holy crap. You probably can't even find that anymore if you wanted to. No. Holy crap. That's probably right there worth some money. I think the big ones you can't. I don't think they make them. They don't make them anymore. And not only that. <clears throat> not only do you cater to people that want to buy this, but you also have a Pathfinder here for some no. people. Yeah, Land Cruiser. The Land Cruiser, sorry. Whoever wants to buy it. This is diesel. Yeah, diesel turbo. Turbo diesel automatic. 4x4. Four 4x4. Four. Four so this is, uh, this is something you want to have if you own like a farm or something. Yeah, I'm just messing around. But I think there's people who are into this uh, yeah, type yeah. of cars and they like these. What year is this one? 94. 94. So everything you have here is 25 and over. Yeah. So you make sure that everyone that buys it obviously gets their everything legit and, and how exactly, it goes. Yeah. Nice, man. So I, I kind of want to let the subscribers in. This is what I was looking at. I was looking into this Skyline. Um, this one's going for around 16, you yeah. said. It's how many miles on this one? I, don't, I forgot. I, we looked at it, but I know it's very low. These cars are coming low. Yeah, you can look. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's about one, 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 three, so kilometers, yeah. Like 80? Like 80? That's yeah, not bad. And this is a 93, right? Yeah, 93. 93. So I was looking into this one. We'll see what happens. Um, we also have another Supra here, but this one is non-turbo. Non-turbo manual. Non-turbo manual. What does a non-turbo manual Supra go for? Now they're around 29, 28. They're still going expensive, huh? Yeah. The Jeez. ones that are a little bit cheaper are the automatic non-turbo. So Automatic non-turbo. That's Dude. the best one to get if you want to. Really? Yeah, if you want a turbo for cheap, you get the auto non-turbo swap and it comes out easier it comes out easier do they make turbo automatics yeah the gray one the gray one which one did the one over there the white one that we were looking at no no there's another one. Oh, i didn't see that <laughs> which one was that one we walked past oh that one the gray one yeah yeah that's it's over a there. gz which is like the highest model you can get which is leather interior aero like uh, active spoiler um and that one only comes out automatic turbo Wow, yeah. that's crazy. So the best model you can get is auto. That's nuts. Well, that's all the options that they made back in the days. And yeah. then here in the States, we got screwed over and we got <laughs> the garbage. Not the garbage, but we didn't get as best. And, and this is, uh, we got a Toyota Source here. Yeah, one JZ manual. One JZ manual, huh? You don't see these a lot. What does this one go for? This one's 14. Oh, that's, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. So you get your one JZ and it's right-hand drive and- Yeah, with and AC. Uh, everything has, yeah, it has AC. Everything you get has AC. That's crazy. And we got the little trucks, the little Daihatsu trucks, the little Honda trucks. What do you yeah. call it? Little pickup semi? Yeah, they're uh, K cars. K cars, that's what they are, right? People, yeah. I've seen people in Japan do swaps on these things. Like they do yeah. crazy little swaps and they haul ass, huh? Yeah, and they drift them. And they drift them too, <laughs> huh? 
Yes, oh, there's uh, videos of these people that were drifting them on the street and they got in trouble. Oh, okay. And they were in these things, it's funny. That's nuts. They don't weigh a lot either. No. I bet you that's probably your highest seller, right? The Pete? little trucks? The little trucks? No, the Skyline. The Skyline, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's something that you always got to keep around because you always sell them. Yeah, I guess like, I'm, I'm into them like crazy now. That's the, the, the reason too. And it, it can, it's... Skyline is a specific customer. It's someone that's looking for some, you know, right. Skyline. They're looking this for the history, more, the power. Exactly. This is more like you have a company and you're like, hey, I want a truck, but I don't need a big truck. You, you could get something this. like this. Or people put advertisement on this. It's so right. small and, and everyone looks at them. And they're what, like six grand? Like six, five grand. Holy crap. Between those. And these have AC. And these have AC and everything. It's hard to find them with AC. And they smoked on these two. Yeah. They smoked on every car with Of course. It. So one of the, one, one car that I really like here is this GTS, uh, GTST. This is an uh, 60th anniversary? Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. So it's just a little bit different. It's got the side skirts. This one you told me was going for around 18? Yeah. RB20? The seats are stitched kind of like GTR style. Okay. And they're... Still GTS seats, but just the stitching is different. But it's like a little sway. Yeah. Nice. Can I get the key? Oh, well, this just looks like a GTST. I mean, a regular, any regular GTST. Any mods on this one? Just uh, exhaust, I think. Exhaust on it? Yeah. I think it's just exhaust. And this is going for eight. Wait, you told me it was going for eight. Yeah, it's got a full exhaust. Paint job is good on this one too, huh? Yeah. Basically, these cars have a paint job that's probably been on them what, for 10, 15 years, probably even more. Yeah. With a little bit of paint correction, they come out, you know, they super shine them. Sometimes they paint them over there, I guess. Just old. Yeah. Paint can't last forever. Yeah, true. You know what I've been noticing too, and a lot of the Hondas nowadays that now they're getting rusted. The EK hatches are getting rusted in the hatch part. They're they're getting oh. rusted in a lot of places. So that's that's crazy, man. And then you have a regular 33 here. Yeah. You know RB25, and this is kind of a, a cheaper model for for people. This is going for what 20 something. 20. 20. You see, you get yourself at R33 for 20, turbo, manual. And you're rolling in a Skyline right hand drive. With AC. With AC, yeah, of course, you can't miss that. We got a 500 horsepower here and it's got AC. This has the oil cooler here in the front, huh? Yeah. Nice. That's crazy. It's got the relocator on the oil, on the, on the oil filter and everything. All right, guys, so my battery's kind of dying. I want to charge the camera for a little bit so I can give you guys more footage. One car that we missed was this one right here which has got an RB26 swap. Yeah, the Sephiro. A Sephiro. I told people in the beginning, I was like, comment if you guys know the name of this car. So it's an RB26 yeah. Sephiro. That's crazy. That's also making some good power, huh? That one, yeah, it's, it's stock, but it's, it's full bolt done. I think it's tuned. And you can get that Sephiro, 91? Is that 91? Yeah. For how much can you get that? 18. To change your